Well, it, you know, it actually depends on the on on the genre and the recording style. There there are some, you know, I'm I'm listen, guys from my generation will always be big analog fans because we've experienced it and we know how it sounds, we know how it's supposed to sound to the ear. But there are certain types of music and there's certain types of production that really don't do well when they're put through analog and and and, and warm up. I mean, something that's really Analog creates a certain amount of density, okay? So if the, if the production ideas are already very dense, analog can tend to, like, saturate to the point where you don't have as much separation and clarity. So, you know, you can't really make a general rule, particularly audio uh, analog tape. I mean, people come in here frequently and will say, we wanted to get that analog sound, we couldn't afford tape. Is there a way you can bounce it to tape and then bounce it back to digital? I say, well... It's very easy to do that, but I just want to warn you, it always, doesn't always work as well as just running it through some, for instance, my, you know, my analog tube amplifier. So we'll do, we'll do one that way. It's, it's an experimental thing. You, know, you just really never know. Um, I did an album two weeks ago, which was, for one of it, it was kind of like a pop dance album. And uh, it, had, it had very, very percussive kind of electronic drums. And they just didn't sound good. The, the analog slowed them up. They got, they got smeary and slowed up. Or if I kept it digital, everything stayed punchy and clear. Now, it was a little bit bright. I would have liked it if it was a little richer. But musically, it worked better to have that kind of very pingy uh, sound. So, you know, we have enough, uh, I have enough digital gear, enough digital processing that I can do it that way too. So it's, there's so many decisions that you have to make kind of on the fly to try to figure out what to do. And if you have the time... You know, in a project like that one, I, I took two or three songs and I tried it analog. I tried, then I tried it digital. And even though I love analog, in that project, analog was not good. And I didn't use the analog at all. Uh, maybe there was one song later in, later in, this, in this sequence, because there were multiple producers. I think there was one song. I listened to it and I went like, no, this one, the analog will, will help. So, uh, but it's a great thing to have. I mean, this is, this is one of the things where you know, I, I, I try to be as open-minded as I can about home mastering and plug-in mastering and everything. But... I gotta say, it's, you at least owe it to yourself when you're trying to enhance a project to, to at least see what the analog uh, channel, the analog chain can do to, to enhance the project. Not always gonna work, but I say, you know, at, at least uh, 50 to 70% of the time, I have much better results with the analog.